We are bringing you the key updates related to aggregate hours. There are four different actions that trustees can use to ensure aggregate hours are met. First, make certain that your district's local board of trustees has declared an ongoing emergency under 20-9806 MCA for the 2020-2021 school year. Trustees may later adopt a resolution that a reasonable effort has been made to reschedule the pupil instruction time lost because of the unforeseen emergency. If the trustees adopt the resolution, the pupil instruction time lost during the closure need not be rescheduled to meet the minimum requirement for aggregate hours. Remember, at least three school days or the equivalent aggregate hours must have been made up outside the existing school calendar before the trustees can declare that a reasonable effort has been made. Second, count your offsite hours. The OPI team requested waivers in 20-7118 MCA from the governor so offsite learning could be offered to students attending your district under an attendance agreement. Remember, Offsite includes electronic means or offsite delivery methods, which are numerous. Finally, remember that the pupil has to have access to the complete range of the basic education program required by the accreditation standards. Hello folks, number three, digital or online learning is more and more common. We believe this is covered by the offsite statute as well. Four, Many local boards have declared proficiency by board policy that requires the use of district approved assessments. 20-9-311 subset 4D MCA provides that a school district can include a proficient student in its A and B count regardless of the aggregate hours provided with A and B converted to an hourly equivalent based on the hours of instruction ordinarily provided for the content over which the student has demonstrated proficiency. Students that demonstrate proficiency regardless of the time necessary are not required to meet aggregate hours. We answer a lot of questions related to proficiency-based learning, and if you have specific questions on this particular option, contact Deputy Superintendent Allen, who is one of our very best-versed employees on the matter. Remember, Students who do not demonstrate proficiency through your district assessments must meet aggregate hours. If you have questions, please reach out to me. Again, I am Ken Bailey, the Chief Financial Officer at the OPI. We hope this brief review of aggregate hours and the ways to meet aggregate hours has been helpful to trustees that are charged with specific action on these options. We wish you health agility, and safety as you prepare to meet the needs of our Montana students that each of you put first.